peace good people. Hope all is well. Do you ever just sit back and wonder who you are and what is your purpose is this massive universe? Do I just supposed to serve myself? What is the reasoning of my temporary stay in this matter? Well I read into this mind tickling post okay okay, knowledge is king. Check it out when you get the chance. Anyway, the name of the post is, who am I? Here, let me reminisce. Who I am is the innocent, the you that you forgot, the moment you were born. What I am is yourself, the spirit of your spirituality. The you that your parents, society, teachers and peer groups have taken so much trouble to make you forget. I am that inner self of you that you cannot see or don't want to acknowledge because of your boundaries, the barriers placed to the concept of your infinity and innocence, the preconceived ideas of who you think you are, the illusion you think you are that has been built up by your preconditioning, your genetic heritage and with everything that has happened to you since the time of your conception in your mother's womb, in your mind, you judged yourself unworthy. You found yourself guilty of being unworthy and thus, needy. Everything you think you need to learn, on some level you already know. You forgot that and in the forgetting have handed your power away to the gurus, masters, teachers, priests of what is sold as religion and spirituality as they interpret without knowing how to think. The endless search for fulfillment, for happiness, for material possessions, for partners, that you have embarked on is because of that judgment. You had that feeling and now that feeling has all of you. Judgment arose from your need to make a choice, whereas, in reality, there isn't a choice to be made. I, the real you, in the infinity of innocence, your inner self have no free will, the endless search for fulfillment, for happiness, for material possessions, for partners, that you have embarked on is because of that judgment. You had that feeling and now that feeling has all of you. Free will is an invention you made in order to justify your need to choose. From that need stemmed your judgment of you. It is only the ego that needs a name, or needs to be named. I come to you as you, the innocence that you really are. I, in essence, am your essence, the living expression of the tantra or union of all of the personalities that make up you. I am your inner self, just as you denied me, the love you are, you denied your awareness, you denied your worthiness, you denied your godlike characteristics. You made every effort to forget, particularly because society judges that if you recognize your truth, you may be persecuted, when you look to me, when you enter into communication and union with me, many emotions and feelings are aroused as you are confronted by those aspects of a view, that, through judgment, you either love or hate, accept, or deny, trust or fear. The infinity of innocence does not know judgment, does not know fear. I do not judge your reaction to me, I'm here to awaken you to your possibilities. I'm here to show you there is another side to you that, deep down inside, you know about, but, you have forgotten. I'm here to remind you that the voice of your inner self, which you denied, is very real. I'm here to remind you that you do not need approval from others, from your parents, from your partners, from your friends, your peer groups or from your society, to be the true expression of who you really are. I'm here to awaken you from your imagination and your dreams to your reality. I'm here to awaken you to other possibilities about your existence on this planet which differ from the ideas you may already have. I'm here to expand your horizons, to open your eyes, your ears and your hearts. As I do this, your little self-sense, your ego, your mind, because it will lose its identity, power and control, will hate and fear this more than anything else. That is your personality. So I will accept that you will judge me, your inner self. I am aware that it is by your own reflection, by what you think is your personality, that you will judge me, just as it is through what you have been taught that you have judged yourselves and everything and everybody around you, your judgment of yourself is the root of all of the disease, all of the disharmony, all of the doubts, all of the uneasiness you now feel in your body and your mind. You judge yourself. You are the only judge, jury and executioner of you. Everything that has happened to you in this lifetime is not a misfortune, mistake, error, or sin. You created, 
consciously or unconsciously, everything that has happened to you, there are only remembering. You came here to remember so you could evolve. You set all of the circumstances of your life patterns around your need to remember, including choosing your parents. That is the simple truth of why you are here. You forgot that. I'm you. I dwell inside you. As you. Not somewhere. Out there. You keep repeating your patterns because you, in your mind, judge yourself that you have not learned the lesson well enough, that you did not achieve oneness within yourself. You created that separation and with the separation, all of the choices that you are faced with, all the decisions that you have to make, there is, in reality, only one choice to be made by the little you, the choice between evolution through acceptance of your innocence, which you might call love, or a life path through fear that moves from one crisis to another, you forgot that your inner self is love, bringing light into life. You forgot that you are a spiritual being having a human experience. You forgot that, what you can see in your physical reality, is only a tiny part of all that you truly are, what your mind thinks is the sum of all of the conflicting information that has been fed into it from the time of your conception, you, your mind, thinks that is all you are. That is your ego, your personality. That is your illusion. You, your mind created the illusion and the whole of you now believes it. You think that your little you can move in the vastness in a way that the vastness approves of. That is your sense of separation and it is all in your mind, because that is what you think, that is what you have become. The judgment of your separation has manifested in your physical bodies and is trapped there because you denied your self-judgment, you denied the guilt which you inflicted on yourselves and you take on the judgments of others. That is the only basis of all your fears. Fear is your lack of love of your inner self. The parasite that lives off you because of your self. Judgment. So that tape will keep repeating itself until you take a leap on faith and accept me, until you wake up to the fact that there is more to you than what you can see through your conditioned and self-imposed tunnel. Vision. All you have to do is to allow the possibility. Allow the possibility that there are no boundaries to you. Create the intention to discover your limitlessness and your power, the fact that you are in charge of you. You, your mind, close the door. Only you, your mind, can open that door. I am always here. I have always been here. I will always be here. I, your inner self, am not separate from you, nor from anyone or anything. All you need to do is accept my existence, in silence meditation or in prayer, with your heart. When you open the door, you will remember. You will discover the love you really are, the love that you have been looking for all of your life. Will to do my will horizontal ellipsis you will remember how to heal yourself. Right use of will show you the way for you to take charge of your life. I will show you the way for you to find peace. Right use of will can guide you to move in the vastness in such a way that the vastness approves of and that you can create your own reality as you want it. The only way that you can heal another, or that you can heal the planet, is by healing yourself, every one of you that becomes, in your consciousness, in your awareness, a point of love bringing light into life, will become just that. Just as many lighted candles more brightly illuminates a darkened room, so the more of you that wake up to who you truly are, brings more light into this planet, a tree in a forest is perfectly content in its state of treeness. Just as there are many trees and species, each dependent on the other to make up the macrocosm of the teeming life of the forest, each individual living in harmony with the other, so it is perfect for each of you to be different. You do not have to do a thing. You do not have to change your lifestyle, or give up your jobs, or join a commune. All you have to do is to be the love and light you are as the expression of your inner self. All you have to do is make it real, to real is the infinity of innocence, the worthiness, the vastness, the love you truly are. To have the intention, remember, accept my existence and allow help to happen. You, in your body are an expression of the innocence of the one fire, awareness. 
Do you dare to be the true expression of the inner self you truly are? Do you dare to allow each and every living thing to be the true expression of who they truly are? That is the true definition of love. Do you dare to be the lover, the beloved and the act of loving, combined, one? Who I am is the innocent, the one fire expressed in all being. What I am is your inner self, and there you have wonder. Something to chew on as is was said. Peace.